Hello friends, this video on getting to know plants part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, roots can also have modifications in certain plants like how we saw that stems and uh, um, leaves can have modifications to perform different functions. Roots can also have modifications. So modification of some roots to perform specialized functions other than water and mineral absorption. absorption. So that's like the general uh, function of a root. So it absorbs water and minerals. So besides that, it can also perform some other functions with some modifications. So it can perform functions like food storage, uh, respiration, support. So these are some very common functions which roots can perform. Now it's very strange to hear right, that roots can even help in respiration. So respiration is like breathing. So we will see how it helps. So let's first talk about food storage. So tap roots of many plants are swollen to store food. Like how we saw in case of potato. So potato was nothing but the stem. So it was a swollen stem which is used to store food. Similarly, ginger was also a swollen stem which is used to store food. Similarly, roots of certain plants are also swollen to store food. So let's think of carrot. So carrot is not a stem. Carrot is basically the root. So you can uh, actually observe the tiny thin root hairs on the carrot. So these root hairs also tell us that this is a root. Now when you look at the carrot, this is also swollen, it stores food and the shape is in the form of a cone, that is it has a broad base towards this side, it, it is broad, so towards the base it is broad and on the other side it is apex, that is it is tapered towards the apex. So one side it is broad, the other side it is like very thin and pointed and this modification of root for carrot is given the name of conical because of its cone like shape. So it is kind of shaped like a cone, like how a cone is in a similar way it is. Similarly, if you look at radish, so in case of radish, the uh, it is kind of swollen in the middle and tapered on both sides. So you see, swollen in the middle and taper on both sides. So you look at its shape, it is a little different. So this type of modification of root is given the name of fusy form. So these are different modifications of root. So in different plants, the modifications are also different. So in case of carrot, it is uh, like one end is broad, the other end is tapered. In case of radish, it is tapered on both the ends and the middle is swollen. Similarly, in turnip, you would see that it has a spherical top and a tapered bottom. So you see a spherical top, it is almost like a sphere and the bottom is very much tapered. So this is given a name nappy form. Now different root modifications are also given different names just like stem. So in case of stem also we saw that for potato the stem modification is given a name tuber. For onion garlic the stem modification is given a name bulb. Similarly here the root modifications for different plants are given different names like conical, fusiform, nappy form and so on. So let us see how roots get modified in certain plants to help in the process of respiration. So before that, what was respiration? Respiration is the process through which organisms take gases from the environment and returns gases from the environment. So basically gaseous exchange happens during respiration. Okay, so this type of modification in roots is generally seen in plants which grow in marshy areas. So marshy areas are those areas which are kind of wet. They also have a lot of mud, wet water. So it, the swamps, you can say. So in so for plants in such areas, oxygen is less. Less oxygen is available. That's because. Uh, the soil, inside the soil, the space where normally oxygen is present, that is all occupied with water. So that's why it gets clogged and there is less oxygen that is available to the plants in this these areas. So therefore, they have specialized structures So special, and these specialized structures are called pneumatophores. So this is pronounced as pneumatophores. So these specialized structures, they arise from the root. So they develop from root and they act as respiratory organs. So these pneumatophores are the respiratory organ 
for these plants. Now, what is the respiratory organ for human beings? So, we have a respiratory system. So, lungs are our respiratory organs. Similarly, nostrils, lungs, trachea or the windpipe, these are all uh, examples of respiratory organs. So, in case of uh, these plants, pneumatophores are the respiratory organs. So, let's have a look at this picture. So, here you will get to see what are pneumatophores. So, you look at this plant. So, these are the roots and from the roots, these structures arise. So, these structures are called pneumatophores, which you see here. So, these, these are also called as breathing roots because these are the roots which help in the process of breathing. So, their speciality is that they rise vertically upwards, come out of the water like conical spikes. So, you see their spikes. So, they are coming out of water. So, when they come out of water, they get abundant air in the atmosphere, abundant oxygen in the air. So, within water, in the swampy area, since a lot of water is present, so they don't get enough oxygen. But when these pneumatophores, they come out on the surface, that is because they uh, grow vertically upwards. So, when they come out of the water, so they get enough oxygen which is present in the atmosphere. And that's how the plant is able to receive oxygen. So, these are spongy and erect roots. So, as you can see in this, so this is an example of a root modification which helps in the process of respiration. So, the root itself have these specialized structures called pneumatophores. They act as respiratory organ and how they help in respiration? They grow vertically upward, comes out of the water surface and get enough oxygen from the atmosphere. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.